One of the most essential parts of any military installation is their grocery and their department stores. Today, the CEO of the exchange stores made a trip to Redstone Arsenal and our Stephanie Mills caught up with them. There's no greater honor than serving those who serve. Thomas Scholl, the CEO of the Army and Air Force Exchange Service, is the first civilian to lead the Department of Defense's oldest and largest retailer. Scholl talked about the plans for future expansion. First, on Veterans Day this year, they're opening up the online service to all honorably discharged veterans. The first extension of the benefit since 1992. It'll just be online, and so we're very excited about welcoming 13 million vets back to their military family. And in the near future, new entertainment centers. Very exciting idea because it basically will be a community center for the service members and their families. She'll also mentioned extending their services to civilians who have access to military installations like Redstone. 38,000 civilians, only 1,000 active duty. You can imagine the impact when both the exchange benefit and the commissary benefit is extended to civilians. They're currently in the approval process through the Department of Defense. At Redstone, Shoal says he's looking for ways to improve the exchange experience experience and possibly expand real estate with the prospect of including civilians in the benefit. Shul has been in charge of other retail stores in the past and he explained the difference he's seen in how the exchange service works. Their entire focus isn't on themselves or their how much money they make, but rather the needs of the customer, in this case, the best customers in the world. Scholl says growing up in a military household and being a former soldier himself, he holds a deep connection with those who shop throughout the exchange stores. They put their lives on the line every day for us. So to me, it's vital that we be a partner with them to provide for every one of their needs in every aspect of their lives. Stephanie Mills, WAFF 48 News.